Germany. It's Europe's biggest economy and the world's second biggest exporter after China. And the product that it ships around the world more than anything else is cars. And many of us love these German brands. Versprung durch Technik, as they say. But there are many people who think that this German economic might, particularly its ability to export things more successfully than almost anyone else, is starting to cause problems for the rest of the world. In nearly every room in the house, you'll find that Germany has some role to play. We have a Bosch fridge. We have a Siemens dishwasher, Bosch kettle, Siemens telephone, Miele vacuum cleaner. OK, so we import an awful lot of German brands and products. But Germany is also very important when it comes to British manufacturing. Take Julit, an iconic British brand, designed in Britain, made in Britain, though in fact started by a German immigrant. One of the most distinctive features is its dial. Yes, that is made in Germany. Without our German cousins, a Julit toaster would not be the same. My shoes. They're made by a wonderful British company called Trickers, fifth generation, still based in Northampton, the home of British shoemaking. But the shoelaces, that's a different matter. Those are made by Ringelspitz, Europe's largest shoelace manufacturer. Well, if you wanted to come to a British pub and read the Telegraph, perhaps do the crossword, you can forget it. The pencil you use to do the crossword is likely to be one of these. One million of them are made every single day. Where? In Nuremberg. The Daily Telegraph, well, of course it's British, but it uses German printing presses and even a beloved tenor. It's about as British as the House of Windsor, as in a little bit Teutonic. The Bank of England confirms that they use some German machinery and even some German materials to create the note. Now, there's an argument, not least from America, that Germany's huge success and its enormous trade surplus must be a bad thing. But in practice, I'm not so sure. There are an awful lot of German products out there that are supplied and contain components and materials from other bits of the world. And you know what? This slightly proves my point. Bex, it's a German beer, but it's owned by InBev, an international company, and it's brewed in the UK. Cheers.